If you've been playing CS recently, you've probably seen people in your lobby holding items that aren't just normal weapons. You can, of course, change what you're holding as well as your operator by simply hitting this button in the bottom right, then choosing Change Scenery, Weapon, or Equipped CT Agent. From Weapon, we can choose pretty much any item you have in your inventory, whether it has a skin or not. Super simple. But we can hold items that we're definitely not supposed to. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this guide on Steam, where you'll find a ton of different items here that you can hold from flashbang, smoke grenade, HE grenade, incendiary, decoy, C4, riot shield, Kevlar vest, and helmet, possibly Zeus, and finally diffuse kit. These are all different options that you can hold, and of course, some of them more game breaking than others, even though they all have the same animation. As you can see, the one that stands out the most is probably the riot shield, as it's just comedically sized and travels through you, and the Kevlar vest, as it's not too broken, but it's still absolutely massive to be holding in game. How do we hold these and what do we do? Well, below each of these, you'll find a T side and CT side command that we can run in order to equip this item. So, what do we need to do? Well, simply find something you like, such as maybe Kevlar and Helmet, and I'll select T-Side, then copy this as my agent is currently T-Side. Then we can open console with tilde and paste in the command, then hit enter. Now, you'll expect it to work, but it hasn't just yet. The simplest thing we could do is change our operator and change it back. So I'll show equip CT, then head back to T-Side, and just like that, you'll be holding a different item. This will also update for everyone else in the party. This is the Kevlar and Helmet, and only slightly more broken than this is the riot shield over here. So I'll copy this, then paste it into console, hit enter, and change the agent, then change it back, and poof, now we're holding the ride shield. This one seems to stay static for the most part, but sometimes glitches into your hand and back. It's very weird to say the least. With tons of these different options to choose from, simply pick something that catches your fancy and confuses other people, and it's good enough to stick with. Usually it'll be the Kevlar vest, as it's just distractingly large, changing and change back. There you go. Especially when you're standing with other players, they'll be very confused. Anyways, it's super simple. If you don't already have your console enabled, using the tilde button underneath escape, head across to settings in the top left, followed by game, then under the game header at the very top, make sure enable developer console is set to yes. By default, this will be set to no. Then, if tilde still doesn't open up the console, head across to keyboard and mouse, scroll all the way down to UI keys, and you'll find toggle console. Click this, then hit the key underneath escape, which is the tilde or grave key, but you can set this to whatever key you want. Then it should be working. Super simple. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.